Good morning, second graders, and welcome to Bible 2 of our mobile, mobile learning platform. Okay, so I'm coming to you today from my home, just like you're at home. Let's go ahead and get your Bible book, uh, Bible pages out. We're looking at page 109 today, and I've made you a PowerPoint. So let's see if we can get that going, and then we'll start the lesson. Here we go. All right. Boys and girls, today we're talking about how Martha grows in faith and how her faith grows. So do you remember yesterday when we um, had the story and we talked about how Martha and Mary um, were worried because their brother Lazarus was sick and they sent a message, message to Jesus and he got there late. So boys and girls, can you tell me um, How did Martha's faith grow during that? Martha's faith grew because, that's right. Good job, Giovanni. At first, she believed that Jesus could heal her brother. But later, she said she fully believed that Jesus was the Son of God. Okay, boys and girls, how did Jesus feel when he spoke to Martha and Mary about Lazarus' death? Sean, when Jesus spoke to Martha and Mary about Lazarus's death, he was sad and he cried. He loved Lazarus and the sisters, so he had compassion. Boys and girls, do you know, can you tell me, what does the word mourn mean? The word mourn means to feel deep sadness due to someone's death or because of a loss. All righty, so. Boys and girls in the Bible, we, when we read John, in the book of John 11.25 says, Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, shall live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, yes, Lord. I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who is to come into the world. Boys and girls, Martha knew that Jesus could perform miracles, and she may have had some understanding that Jesus is God's son. But in the end, she said that she fully believed he was the son of God and had the power to give life and raise the dead. When someone dies, those who love that person feel a deep and intense sadness. And so they mourn. And we just said that to mourn means to feel deep sadness due to someone's death or because of a loss. When Jesus saw Martha and Mary crying because their brother had died, he also felt sad and he cried. Jesus loved Lazarus and he loved the sisters too. When he saw how sad they were, he felt compassion for them. Boys and girls, Jesus loves us too and he understands that when we are he understands when we are sad. And for those who have accepted him as savior he sent the comforter the holy spirit so the holy spirit can be with us and help us let's go ahead boys and girls and really quick take a look at john eleven forty, and john eleven forty tells us that jesus said to her did i not say to you that if you would believe you would see the glory of god Boys and girls, Martha's faith grew because at first she said she believed that Jesus could heal her brother, and later she said she fully believed that Jesus was the Son of God. Could you tell me, how did Jesus feel when he spoke to Martha and Mary about Lazarus' death? Sean? He was sad and he cried. He loved Lazarus and the sisters, so he had compassion. Do you remember what mourn means? Let's go ahead and get out our Bible, page 109, and we're going to take a look at what, we're going to go ahead and work on that page now. If you think that you can work ahead on your own, you can try, but if you'd like to do it with us, you can stay and work with us. We're going to get started on that. Just give me a moment to get it set up, and here we go. 
You're doing great, second graders, just like in class. Check this out. Uh-oh, one more. Here it is. So boys and girls, on page 109, we're going to look up mourn. You don't have to, I already did it for you. To mourn means to feel deep sadness due to someone's death or because of loss. Now we have to number the events in the order they happened. Uh-oh, let's go ahead and take a look. So it says, Jesus cried and had compassion. Jesus commanded that the stone be moved away from Lazarus's tomb. Lazarus became very sick. Martha and Mary sent word to Jesus that Lazarus was sick. Lazarus died. Jesus traveled to Martha and Mary's home. Lazarus was raised from the dead and many believed in Jesus. Martha told Jesus that if he had been there, Lazarus would not have died. Jesus thanked God and called for Lazarus to come out of the tomb. Lazarus came out of his grave, out in his grave clothes. So boys and girls, which one do you think comes first? Joshua. That's right. Lazarus became very sick. Martha and Mary sent word to Jesus that Lazarus was sick. Go ahead and put a number one there. And what comes next? Tessa. Yes. Lazarus died. Jesus traveled to Martha and Mary's home. Go ahead and put a number two in there. And Trinity, what's number three? Very good. Martha told Jesus that if he had been there, Lazarus would not have died. Mila, can you tell me what number four is? That's right. Jesus cried and had compassion. Excellent job. Okay, Jacob, number five, what came after Jesus cried and had compassion? That's right. He commanded that the stone be moved away from Lazarus's tomb. And Number six would be what, Jax? Yes, Jesus thanked God and called for Lazarus to come out of the tomb. Lazarus came out in his grave clothes. That's the picture we saw in our picture um, of the chapter for this week, the picture that's down here, right? There we go. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And so boys and girls, number seven, it has to be Lazarus was raised from the dead and many believed in Jesus. When we see, uh oh, when we see God's miracles, it brings more people to believe in Jesus Christ. And I'm having some technical difficulties to so put number seven where it says Lazarus was raised from the dead and many believed in Jesus. And let's go ahead. If it will let me, we'll do the bottom. But boys and girls, we're going to read John 11:40. And we're going to write what Jesus said Martha would see if she believed. Do you remember when um, Jesus and Martha were talking and Jesus told her, told Martha that she would see the glory of God? So that's your answer, boys and girls. Go ahead and fill it in. The glory of God is the answer. Thank you so much, boys and girls. That's the end of our Bible lesson for day two. Have a great day. I'll see you soon for math and English.